Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, every single year around this time, I like to make one of these videos to remind people that if they're looking for a really good start to the game or maybe a restart if you're not happy with your current account, then now is the time to start that re-rolling process and try to get your ideal starter account because Yesterday, we just got 119 stones for top grossing, so you'll get those for every reroll. You're also getting the initial login stones of uh, 66. You're also going to be getting a bunch of other random stones from like the social media campaigns, the community campaign, and so on and so forth. So basically, every single reroll right now gives you a crap ton of stones, which obviously you can spend on the LRMUI Goku and SSB Vegeta Tool Dokkan Fest banners, and those banners also have additional discounts for the first rotation. So I haven't checked exactly how many stones each reroll gives you right now, but I'm 99% sure that you are able to do at least one full rotation, so at least four multis on each of the banners, which obviously is amazing and gives you a pretty decent chance to pull at least some useful units, if not you know, some LRs along the way, right? So uh, that is essentially the premise of this video. If you guys are looking to reroll, now is the time to start. And just real quick, for anybody that doesn't really know what rerolling is or, you know, is new to gacha games in general, what you're doing is essentially starting the game over and over again with a new account each time to try to get as many good units with the starting currency as you can. And obviously, usually, when you start the game from like a regular time during the year, you're only getting enough stones in the beginning to do like a couple of singles, right? But during anniversaries, they're giving out a lot of free currency and that's why right now is the best time to do this re-rolling thing. And I know some people don't have the most positive opinion of re-rolling. They think that it's bad, that you shouldn't do it, but you gotta think about it from the perspective of someone who just started this game solely because they want to play with the new LRUI Goku and LR SSB Vegeta and let's say they got shafted on their main accounts and they can't afford to you know buy more stones to try again then rerolling does make quite a bit of sense for those people and at the end of the day it's a single player game right so if other people reroll it doesn't really affect you in any way so personally I'm fine with it and this channel is geared towards helping people so hopefully this video will uh, help those people that have been shafted so far so uh, yeah with all that said let's uh, jump into a quick reroll of our own right now what you see on the screen is a fresh account that I just started literally 10 15 minutes ago we went through the tutorial real quick took about five to six minutes and I haven't done anything else yet, so here we are. And we're gonna jump into the box here and see how many stones we can get for each fresh reroll. Okay, so... Wow, alright, so we got 232 stones right there. And we can collect a few more gifts, not sure if there's any more stones left. Two more stones. Okay, so as you can see, for each fresh account that you make right now, all you gotta do is you know, finish the tutorial and you'll get 239 stones. And as far as, you know, new gacha game tutorials are concerned, Dokkan definitely has one of the shortest ones that I've ever seen. Yeah, every other tutorial I've seen is at least like 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes even 30 to an hour. So for Dokkan to only have a five to six minute tutorial is awesome and will make this re-rolling process, you know, much faster. Than normal right so uh, yeah we got our 239 stones now we can jump over to the LR banners here uh, we got this beginner banner which you don't want to touch just jump over to either the UI Goku banner or the SSB Vegeta banner and uh, there are as I said the additional discounts the first multi is 30 I think it's 35 for the second and is it 45 for the third something like that either way we have enough stones right now to do at least four multis on the Goku banner and the Vegeta banner. So why don't we test our luck a little bit and uh, we'll start with the UI Goku banner and then we'll jump over to 
the Vegeta banner as well and see what happens. Um, ooh, okay, we got Vegeta flying in. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> we got the give it to me. Obviously, guaranteed Dokkan Fest at the very least. I'm gonna pull down. And if we pull LRUI Goku in our first multi, I was gonna say I would be salty, but I'm not gonna be that salty because I've had some pretty good luck in my own summons. But I know some people are gonna be very, very salty. Specifically, a few friends I have that have been struggling really hard to pull either LR Goku or LR Vegeta. And if we pull one of them first multi, or at least, you know, the Goku first multi here, that would kind of su Oh! That's not bad! That's not bad! Okay, LR Go Tanks, or LR Boo Tanks rather. Um, still one of the best units in the game. That's a great start. Alright, there we go. Maybe UI Goku too? Possibly? Oh, fake out? Nope, no fake out. Okay. So anyways, guys, this is essentially all you gotta do, man. Just restart the game. Um, once you're done with an account, if you don't like it, you can just go into your settings and delete the data. And then when you jump back into the game, click new game and you can just start all over again. For iOS users, I believe, I'm not sure if there's a similar function, but maybe you can just uninstall the game, reinstall it, shouldn't take that long either. Oh my god, <laughs> back to back fusions, alright. Can we go blue this time? Oh my god, we went blue, alright. So we got LR Boo Tanks first. Uh, second multi UI Goku? Maybe? I mean, it's an LR. Oh, there we go. All right, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm not gonna lie though, this reroll is off to a really good start. Now, for me personally, if I were to reroll, obviously I haven't really rerolled in a long time because I've had the same global account forever, but I have done a few rerolls on JP. If I were to reroll on global right now, I wouldn't really be satisfied unless I had both the new UI Goku, as well as SSB Vegeta. But it's kind of hard to give up on accounts like this because like when you get back-to-back -back LRs on your first two multis, um, you know, it doesn't get much better than that, right? But uh, yeah, guys, yeah, just restart your game, delete data, new game, and then, you know, collect your stones, do your multis, until you have an account that you're really really happy with. Now, one other option you have, just a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Madara Accounts. They are an online seller of stacked global and JP accounts with, you know, thousands of stones already on them as well as a bunch of really good units. So if you want to forego the re-rolling process and just jump in and summon with a ton of stones, the Madara Accounts might be a good choice for you. And uh, you can go check out their website in my description down below. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. And uh, yeah, they're just a really good service. I know the owner personally is a really good guy, so I know that it's a completely legit website. Of course, one thing I will say is that right now is a really busy time for them because, you know, we got the anniversary going on. There's a ton of orders coming in, so do allow them up to about 12 hours to get your order processed, okay? And of course, after you make your order, you will get an email explaining everything, so you don't really have to worry. Uh, okay, we got a Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, not bad. But no UI Goku so far. So if I were, you know, the person trying to get a new account, this is probably not one that I would keep, unless we pull like three SSB Vegetas, then that would be a really tough decision. But right now, no Goku, and I want Goku a lot more than I want Vegeta, so this is probably a unsuccessful reroll. But we'll see. Let's do the Vegeta side too. Let's uh, show Vegeta a little bit of respect. We got the little kid combo here, go Ten and Trunks. But yeah guys, um, as I was saying, check out Madara accounts in my description. Obviously, no pressure if uh, that's not what you're into. It's not a big deal. But just for people who, you know, want that option, um, they do offer some pretty good prices. And of course, you can use my code TIGER for 20% off. Save yourself some money. So uh, there you go. Check them out. Okay, so the Vegeta side is not off to such a hot start. Oh, oh, actually, 
Not bad. Not bad. We got the new Golden Frieza. I actually don't love this unit, though. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I think the Gohan and Piccolo on the other banner is better. Um, and the main issue I have with this Golden Frieza and Gohan is that they have a chance to guard as opposed to guaranteed guard, right? If it was like guaranteed to guard against all attacks, then I think they're actually a really, really good, you know, defender, really good tank, but it's a great chance, which means that if they don't get their guard off, then they're not actually going to be that impressive. And I just don't know why they want to give like units chance to guard. Just, just if they're going to have guard, give them guard. If they're not going to have guard, then don't give them guard. You know what I mean? But hey, it is what it is. Still a solid unit nonetheless. Just uh, it'd have been better in my opinion. Okay, so we're gonna do three more multis here, and then that'll be our reroll for the video. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying the anniversary so far. Let me know in the comments down below if you had any insane rerolls recently after the top grossing stones came out. Because uh, around this time, I always get some you know crazy screenshots from people with like triple you know quadruple lr multis so if you guys did get any of those then definitely let me know in the comments and uh you know of course when it comes to these rerolls what you're looking for are the new lrs you're looking for the worldwide celebration lrs the boot tanks which we did get as well as uh the uh vegito the str goku and vegeta and if you get agl gohan that would be a really really good pull as well since he is the Kamehameha lead, and Kamehameha is a phenomenal category. And a lot of these new units are in, you know, Kamehameha as well, so you can use them on the same team. And, uh, yeah, man, there's also a bunch of other good units you can get, but the focus, of course, would be the LRs, especially the Goku and the Petita. But I'm sure you guys already know that. The main reason you're probably re-rolling is to try to get at least one copy of each, so... There you go guys, uh, we still got the free multi, and then after that we'll have 9 tickets for each banner. It's kind of scummy that they did it like that, because obviously you can't get a full multi right with 9 tickets, but once you save up a few more stones, which you will be able to get throughout the entire celebration, right, we still got probably, you know, like 400 plus stones that we'll be getting for the rest of the 6th anniversary. You can do another multi or do another rotation and uh you know two or ticket multis after that but for the purpose of you know this video we're not gonna do nine ticket singles just because that's gonna take way too long but uh, you have those tickets there as well in your gift box so don't forget about those but uh there you have it guys so not the best reroll we were off to a really really good start but if you're gonna go through all the trouble of doing this reroll thing you definitely want a better start than this right here so yeah good luck on your rerolls guys uh hopefully it doesn't take too many tries to get the goku and vegeta and uh yeah that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you guys liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.